Hello, everyone. Another book today at Cindy Harper Speaks. And today the book is entitled Joy's Great Idea. It's written by Veronica Freeman Ellis, and it's illustrated by Colin Bootman. So let's see what Joy's Great Idea is. Joy spends four weeks in the city. Will she like it there? As you read the story, stop every few pages to summarize what you have read. So as I'm reading, I want you to be summarizing mentally as I read. And let's see about Joy's great idea. Oh, looks like they're at the beach. Oh, it looks like a lovely day. Celia and her mother lived in the city. Every summer, Celia visited her cousin, Joy. Joy lived near the seashore. Celia liked to visit Joy. They swam and played on the beach. Sometimes they sailed in a boat with Joy's parents. One summer, things were different. Celia did not go to visit Joy. Instead, Joy went to the city to stay with Celia and her mother for four weeks. Soon after Joy arrived in the city, the girls were sitting in front of Celia's building. Do you just sit on the steps every day, asked Joy. I like to sit outside. It's fun to watch people, said Celia. Joy did not think it was fun to sit on the steps. She wanted to be near the water. At my house, we can swim and sail. It's not fun to be out here doing nothing, Joy said. We have fun in the city too, but we do different things, said Celia. Once you get used to the way things are, you might like the city. Maybe I will, said Joy, or maybe I won't. The next day, the girls went to the youth center. This is my cousin Joy, Celia told the other children. She'll come to the center with me this summer. Miss Howard, the group leader, walked over to the two girls. She said, hi, Joy, I'm happy you are here. You can join us in all of our activities. Ms. Howard told the children about important African-American people. Later, you can make a poster of the people you like, she said. Tomorrow, we'll talk more about these people. Ms. Howard helped the children make a sweet potato pie. They ate the pie in the afternoon. Yum, this pie is really delicious, said Joy. That night, Celia's mother asked, did you have fun in the youth center, Joy? It was okay, said Joy, but I have more fun at home. Why don't you take Joy home, Mom, asked Celia. No, said her mother, I think Joy will like the city. Maybe I will, said Joy, or maybe I won't. The next day, Joy and Celia went back to the youth center. Ms. Howard talked about Frederick Douglass, who fought slavery. She told them about the musicians, Duke Ellington, and Wynton Marsalis. She also talked about the writer, Toni Morrison. Joy thought these people were interesting and exciting. She asked many questions about them. That night, Joy asked, can we go to the library? Yes, said Celia's mother. What books do you want? I want to get some books about Toni Morrison and maybe some about Duke Ellington and Wynton. Ten Marsalis, said Joy. Miss Howard talked about them today. Celia and her mother looked at each other and smiled. They were happy that Joy liked the youth center. Tomorrow is Saturday. We'll go to the library in the morning, said Celia's mother. That sounds great, said Celia, but I'd like to go to the youth center first. I love my blue sweater there. <clears throat> they went to the youth center the next morning. There were many people standing in front of the center. What's going on, asked Celia's mother. Someone wrote all over the wall, said Miss Howard. That's awful, said Joy. Is there anything we can do to help? Come to the gym, said Miss Howard. We're going to have a meeting about that now. Everyone went into the gym. Many people were there. The director of the center started to speak. Of course we will paint the walls, she said, but someone will write on them again, said Miss Howard. How can we stop them? Does anyone have any ideas, asked the director. 
Joy waved her hand. She had an idea, but the director did not see her. Celia's mother said, Joy has an idea. We could paint murals of important African-American people. <laughs> Excuse me, said Joy. It will be hard to write on the walls if there are murals. People really liked Joy's idea and they agreed to paint the murals. First, everyone painted the walls. The new paint covered the writing. Then two artists drew pictures of the African-Americans that the people had chosen. After the artists finished their outlines, everyone painted in the pictures. Joy worked on the mural of Toni Morrison. So you help with the mural of Wynton Marsalis. That's Wynton Marsalis. Then they worked together on the mural of Martin Luther King Jr. Even Soya's mother helped. She helped to paint the mural of Duke Ellington. The murals are wonderful, said Soya's mother. The youth center looks better than it did before. Yes, it does, says, said Miss Howard. And I don't think people will want to write on the walls anymore. They will be too proud of these important African-Americans to cover them up. Joy, you're going home in two days, said Celia one day. Yes, said Joy. The four weeks went by quickly. Maybe you'll come back next summer, said Celia's mother. Maybe Joy won't, said Celia. Joy smiled. She liked the city now. Maybe I will, she said. See where they're sitting now? They see the murals that they painted on the youth center. So let's look at this. How is the summer different for Joy and Celia? Well, being in the city is different from being in the, by the seashore. There's not the beach and you can't go sailing, but in the city, there's a youth center and there are other activities. You've got parks and different activities in the city. Why is Joy's idea for the center's walls a good one? The idea was a good one because people typically won't deface a wall that has murals of important people on it. They drew graffiti on the center, but with the murals, hopefully they won't do that. How do Joy's feelings about the city change over the four weeks she spends there? Her feelings change because she learned a lot about important African-Americans. It piqued her interest. She got involved in the things at the youth center. So her mind was stimulated she became more intelligent and she enjoyed that. If you were going to spend four weeks in a new place, what are some things you would do to get used to it? That's a very good question. That's a good question all of you can ask yourselves because in life, we're always going to have new experiences and thinking about it in advance, like how am I going to handle that? But just take one day at a time in each situation and glean the pleasure and the good things out of every single day. If you like Joy's great idea, please press like at the end. And I'll see you next time at Cindy Harper Speaks. Thanks. Bye for now.